hello welcome to um our first exam practice question on fluid dynamics okay so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe for more videos okay so i have a question here for us to go through it let's all go through and know how to solve it okay all right consider a fluid parcel flowing through two para plates of interval h okay so this interval is very important with a non-stationary and a stationary upper plate and lower plate respectively okay so we have a non-stationary plate okay and a stationary plate okay so the upper plate is what non-stationary and then the lower plate is um and no, sorry the upper plate is non-stationary and then the lower plate is what stationary because it is res respectively means the non-stationary is for the upper plate and then the um, stationary is for the lower plate now the fluid parcel is moving with a speed u okay in the x direction and also a non-stationary plate speed capital u okay now the pressure gradient of the fluid parcel is zero and the question is emphasize on the assumptions of the fluid flow behavior okay so what can we say about the assumptions the second question is indicate the type of flow and the flow drivers and the third one is state the boundary conditions imposed on the flow type divide the velocity distribution and the shear stress of the flow type and we have some thing given here parameters given given the viscosity of the fluid to be one newton second per meter squared and upper plate speed that is a capital u to be this and an interval of zero um, five millimeters okay calculate one the maximum velocity u max and the mean velocity u mean we are supposed to find the relationship between the um, u max and u mean okay so this is our question to solve let's go ahead and first solve this question the assumptions we will make okay all right now the assumption that we want to make is that the first assumption is that the first assumption is um the flow is just a one dimensional one dimensional flow okay it's just one dimension okay and the second assumption is that um this flow is um incompressible okay the flow is incompressible we've discussed about compressible and incompressible flows in our second lesson incompressible meaning velocity does not change okay in the s direction does not change okay doesn't change in x direction okay and because of this you don't have any acceleration okay that we are dealing with here so these are the assumptions we are making here okay all right so let's look at the next question the next question is saying that we should um, indicate the type of flow and the flow drivers okay this one what type of flow is this okay we know it's a power plate flow though but then what type of power plate flow is this okay so the question two this is what a coet flow now i'm coming to explain why we are saying this is a coet flow okay why because if you could see in the question we are saying that consider a fluid parcel flowing through two power plates of interval h yes we have the interval with a non-stationary and stationary upper plate now if you remember in a uh, lesson four i mentioned that the coet flow happens when the um plates are moving okay the upper plate is moving it's non-stationary so this is one example of the coet flow and also we say that the velocity at the upper plate is always given it's not zero and indeed from this question here we are saying that the speed for the um how do i put it the upper plate is capital u okay so it means the flow is a coet flow 
now indicate a type of flow we've indicated that is a coerced flow and you're supposed to show the flow drivers okay now what drives the flow the flow drivers this is the first point the second point is that it is a wall the flow drivers in the coerced flow is that it is a wall velocity okay driven okay so it's a word velocity driver or driven flow you can you can say that and with this the next assumption is that the um pressure gradient is zero and indeed it was indicated in this um in the question we said that the pressure gradient of the fluid power is fast always was zero so this everything should clearly that this is what a coerced flow now the third one is state the boundary conditions imposed in this flow okay so you're supposed to state the boundary conditions for the third one all right so the boundary condition is that one the first boundary is that the u at u max i uh, sorry at y max okay and y max is given i will state it okay it's actually equal to a certain velocity and now they gave us that that velocity is capital u let me write it like this okay now the y max is the highest length between the plates now we are seeing that the plates let's say if this is the plate okay and let's uh, have this to be our plates we are seeing that the height or the distance between this the interval is h meaning the highest length i can travel in the y direction is what h so quickly we could see that this is our h mass given sorry y mass given in the um, equation or in the question okay so we can quickly erase that um, y max and say that u of y equals h where the h is our y max here equals u that's a capital u this is i'm um, sorry the conditions and always we say that u of y equals zero is also zero okay so these are the um, conditions we've imposed okay now let's go to the fourth one then derive the velocity distribution and shear stress of the flow type okay so we have this all right let's go um if you remember in our fourth lesson we said something like we said something like um d tau d y is always equal to dp dx okay and now for this type of flow dp dx is actually equal to zero and with this we said tau is also equal to mu du dy and so if i substitute tau in place i'll get d d tau d dy of tau which is mu du dy and this is equal to zero okay so i have mu d squared u dy squared okay should be equal to zero then i have d squared u um let me erase it and write it well. d squared u dy squared is equal to zero now we pass we went through how to derive this so this is not a big deal for us i'll write it straight away because i have the derivation process in the lesson four okay so you can go ahead straight ahead and then check up on how to derive this okay all right so u of y is always equal to v this is what we had v over h okay or y max let me let me write it general y max times y okay this is what we had but then now in this question this particular question our v is giving us this v is the velocity at the upper place so it's giving us a capital u and our y max is also giving us what a certain h so we can quickly put them in and write our u properly in terms of the dimensions and then the particulars given in this question okay so i have um capital u capital u let me let me pick it well capital u over h times y so this is if you pass through the correct um process this is what you get and now the tau which is uh shear stress is equal to mu times the differential of from this okay so from that from this equation okay um 
let me put the white pen from this equation tau is equal to mu times um mu times the differential of u with respect to y okay so let me write the mu well differential of u with respect to y and u is this so if i differentiate u with respect to y, i'll get capital u okay over h where the capital h is what um the velocity at the highest um, plate okay all right so let's go and then read the last question together okay now the last question is saying that the maximum velocity and the u mass you are supposed to find them if the um, viscosity is this okay the viscosity is giving us one newton seconds per meter squared and then the speed as five meters per second at the highest plate or the upper plate and then the interval h is given as five millimeters okay so we are supposed to find the u mass and u mean of um the flow okay so let's go ahead and do that quickly all right so we are saying that this is the fifth question but given from the question we said that h is equal to a uh, y mass and um uh v which is the velocity at the highest plate or the upper plate is given as u and um our uh, u of y is always equal to u over h times y this is what we had and with this you are saying that uh h is equal to five millimeters okay are uh, you the capital u that were being given us is equal to five meters per second okay and our uh, mu is equal to one newton um one newton seconds per meter squared this is what we're being given now our task is to find u max and u mean okay what is our u max u max for a coerced flow is equal to the u over two this u over two means i'm sorry yes it's u over two this u over two this u here that you see is the velocity for the upper plate okay that is what we derived and now in our derivation we used v but in this question they've used u okay so you just have to understand the parameters okay so simply let me write it at the top here u max is equal to 5 over 2 and this will give us 2.5 okay um, 2.5 meters per seconds okay all right so that is it for u max and you mean for a coherent flow is also u over 2 as well that is what we had for our discussion and that one is is also equal to 5 over 2 and this will give us 2.5 meters per second okay so now the relationship between them what is the relationship between the coerced flow and then sorry the um, u max and u mean you could see that the u max here is equal to 2.5 and is the same as the u mean okay so they are the same that is the relationship between them okay 2.5 meters per second 2.5 meters per so this is the solution to the question there thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed see you